Hi there, we have some big updates for Throne and Liberty. As we all know, the global release has been pushed back to 2024 as they're doing this to overhaul the combat and the leveling experience. The data is coming from the 2Q 2023 earning call where they were talking about the financials of the company for the quarter, but at the end there was a Q&A with the investors and they asked a lot about Throne and Liberty and its potential to be successful in the MMO market. And thanks to this, we got some news for the upcoming MMO. They started by saying that they had a closed beta which actively reflected the feedback received to ensure we can present our users with a gameplay experience fitted for a large-scale PC game. And they followed to ensure we created an optimized global service environment for Throne and Liberty, we are preparing to host a user test with Amazon Games. They are referring to the closed beta test that Amazon was going to do later this year, but due to the pushback of the global release date, I highly doubt that will happen in 2023. So let's go to the meat and potatoes of this conference and see what we got. For starters, they will be still releasing the game at the end of the year, but only for Korea. The global release is pushed back for 2024, and there's some reasoning behind this. They have spotted the problems that the game has in the closed beta and have included all their updates and hotfixes. And with this, they are hoping to generate a positive hype around the game to ensure its success. But if you all remember, the closed beta was played with negative reviews about its combat, its autoplay, progression systems, and monetization, making me feel that Throne and Liberty was dead on arrival. But still they're confident that they can pull it off and make this upcoming disaster into a success. Then the investors were pressing NCSoft to give exact dates for the global closed beta and the global release but they informed them that these dates are in the hands of Amazon. So your only chance to play Throne and Liberty this year is through a VPN on the Korean server. Let's go back to the Q&A session where there was one investor asking what were the specific updates they did to improve the game and their answer was, if you look at the areas in which people believe we can do a bit better, I believe one was related to the overall growth experience in the initial stage of the game, and second was related to the combat system and the need to make some improvements in that area. So they're fixing the leveling experience, which was very grindy, and the combat system, which was the main issue of the game. These people have to realize that the combat system is the main pillar for every MMO. Personally, I don't mind tab target, but this version had you rooted all the time when you cast the abilities, making it feel stiff and not fluid. Plus it was a nightmare for melee classes because they couldn't hit a fleeing enemy. They also added, we have eliminated a lot of a simple and repetitive content required for progression. And at the same time, we have also accelerated the overall speed at which characters can level up. Here they're talking about how grindy the game was after a few levels, so you had to do astral hunting farming and leave your character to autoplay as a glorified bot, just to get some XP. At the end of the day, I hope they can fix this game since it looks beautiful and it's a sandbox MMO, which we are currently missing in the genre lately. Are they gonna make the miracle happen like Final Fantasy XIV did? We just have to wait for the Korean release at the end of the year. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to do a comment, use the comment section below. Thank you and have a good one.